and um, I have here the golden altar and I have here the throne and what you see before the throne are the four beasts, the lion, the calf, the man's face, man's face and the eagle. It's the same setting and of course the candlestick but we, we of course already uh, I've established the fact that the two apartments became one in the Day of Atonement. And since 1844, <coughs> since 1844, the two apartments became one. <coughs> since 1844, the two apartments in heaven became one. God is not trying to hide anything from us. I told you that that we, O oh God, is in the sanctuary according to Psalm 77 and verse 13. That we, O oh God, is in the sanctuary. How can Seventh-day Adventists preach the sanctuary? without understanding the sanctuary service. You can't. And the ignoring it is not going to help us. Ignoring our particular message is not going to help us. Alright? So might as well be buckle down, strap down, put on your seat belt, because we are in for a ride. The angel officiating at that golden altar where the high priest generally officiate is telling us that what was going on before causing the, 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 the sounds or the it was praises and glorification and all that. That was what what's taking place before they are for silence. <coughs> but clearly we have seen that <coughs> that had stopped because there was something that the same judgment transferred to earth. And exactly where it transfers to the people who are called Israel. Israel's temple. Jerusalem. And among God's people there, the, the cleansing will take place. And this is not about the dead now. This is the living. This is the judgment of the living now. And as we go through it, you will see the difference with the introduction of the dead and the living. The introduction of the judgment of the dead and the introduction of the living, that one was associated with earthquake while one wasn't. And of course, what awakening would an, earth, would an, would an earthquake have on dead people? No, what's so So it's clear that God was, you know, bringing up the distinction between the judgment of the dead and the judgment of the living. The judgment of the dead is going on now, but when, I tell you, when the judgment of the living commences, <coughs> there will be a mark difference that the, that the living will be able to reckon with. The judgment is past. The summer is past. <coughs> Are we quoting Jeremiah? Summer is past. Harvest is past. The summer is ended, and we are not safe. Ah, oh. are they are full of silence? 
pointed to the coming of Christ, at which time he takes his saints with him. There would be no necessity for the angel to offer their prayers. I remember what the angel is doing here. <coughs> Remember what the angel is doing here. It says, see what he's doing, he's taking stuff from the altar, casting it to the earth. And verse 4 says, and the smoke of the incense Verse 4, and the smoke of the incense which came with the prayers of the saints ascended up before God out of the angel's hand. Right? Mother Angel came, stood at the altar, having a golden censer. There were given unto him much incense, that he should offer it with the prayers of the saints. So notice the terminology, offer it with. Offering incense with the prayers of the saints is indicating that prayers are in effect uh, being prayed, actively being offered by saints. And it says clearly the prayers of the saints are going up. There is no prayers of saints going up after Christ's second coming. Scratch that! Scratch that! <coughs> this activity will not be taking place after Christ's second coming. Therefore, the half hour silent is not the second coming of Christ. Here it is. Angel doing that. after the half hour silent. Let's read <coughs> Great Controversy, page 425. It says, while the investigative judgment is going on in heaven, there is to be a special work of purification, of putting away of sin among God's people upon the earth. Alright? They don't put away sin during after probation is closed. They put away sin during probation, during a time when man can be saved. Alright? <coughs> um the half an hour silence before the half an hour silence the beast was crying holy, holy, holy. All the, the people around the jury, the angels, all of them were giving praises and thanksgiving when the judgment was passing through the period of dead. And so therefore they were confirming and affirming what God is doing. Because God is not hiding anything from his people. He tells them clearly that he will be blotting out names and he will be <coughs> um, 
they will be uh, sealing names in the book. Right. You will be blotting out, rejecting and accepting names in the book. And the witnesses will be allowed to see that. The witnesses in, in this judgment scene will be able to see the, all the procedures and they will be constantly saying, holy, 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 but it stopped for half an hour, seven days. <coughs> significance of seven days is for cleansing, mm -hmm. as we have seen, and I will bring you some more. In clarity on that, as we will look, <coughs> now that is set up. Um, that's where we pause today, as my energy is not too uppity up. So, you have a testimony? Yeah, you have a testimony. You can testify. Yes, I testify of God's goodness to me in the land of the living. This week was a hectic week, but you know, it is in the rough and tumble that you get, as you say, the furnishings for the character. Hard work and stress and pull you and cause you to grow to another level. I believe that God is getting us ready for the next level. Revelation 8 is the next level. We have to prepare. Thank God for my family. My husband is not 200 percent, but God always strengthens him. Thank you for my sons and my extended family. Family in Facebook land. God for his truth. For in this time of widespread deception, it is so much joy to rejoice in the truth that we have the light. We do not fear what others fear. We see the prophecies come into light. read about the beast and then you see the beast and you say yes truly God is on his throne and we make it we are on the right track all power is given to me in heaven and in earth says Christ so why should we worry or fear Everything is set up. Four years ago, my husband used to preach one word. And one of the words I remember was positioning. You better believe it that everything is in position now. Just to pull the trigger. Everything is in position. COVID crisis brought us to this stage. Can't turn it back. Like you let loose something, you can't put it back in. <clears throat> My feet are happy feet. For I can the home stretch. It's 
over. It's done. Thank all for Jesus. Thank you for joining us today. We are wrapping it up now. It seems like the Sabbath is ended here. Be with us. Sing a song, sing a Sabbath song, and then be with us. Bid you God's peace. Many years ago. In days of time, I used to play till evening, just for when I.
Sabbath songs uh, that we have <coughs> and that we know because there are many more. Three, nine, three.
many words it is for verse. Book five in your book. Oh, you have four? One, two, three. Okay. Let us pray. Five. Gracious and most Friends. compassionate Father God, we are so grateful for this Sabbath day of rest. Many have been rejuvenated spiritually and physically. And we thank you that we have been spared as we face an untried week. We know not what lies ahead, but we know who is in control. Yes. And we thank you that we can come on bended knees to give you thanks and ask for your guidance, your protection towards us as we face another week. Bless us, help us to keep strong, keep faithful. Help us that we overcome difficulties. And even if we don't overcome the difficulties, we pray that they will not overcome us. Mm -hmm. But thy grace is always sufficient to carry us through this storm. Yeah. Just to know that you're always with us no matter what we're going through, no matter what our experience and the challenges are, you're there. Mm -hmm. So we want to encourage those who are at the brink or at an edge at this time, mm -hmm. that they will draw on the resources that you have provided for us. Thank you for what was taught to us all today. We know the Holy Spirit is always ready to teach. Yes. Okay. And may this particular prophecy go forward to enlighten minds and enlighten lives. Yes, Lord. And so that we can be on par with your truth of the hour. We thank you. Bless everyone that is here and who will stop by this later on this program. We thank you. May the Holy Spirit continue to lead and God. Help us to be faithful in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. That the words of my mouth and meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Well, God bless you. Thank God you, bless you so very much for stopping by and just that the little we were able to share <coughs> today and bring you some enlightenment and some peace. Share the word, if you may. Thank you very much.